We live in a society that's highly accountable. In the old day, farmers could perhaps get away with doing things under the radar, no longer. Doing things right really, really matters to farmers across sectors in this industry. So obviously, you know, climate change is something that's happening around us. And when we look at that, we have to navigate that. And I think this is what farmers do well as they navigate these things on an ongoing basis. One of the most critical things is we often talk about carbon. And I think it's really important to make sure that when we evaluate how we want to reduce carbon on these different environmental impacts, it's also very important to evaluate the actual production yields performance behind that. Because if we're not measuring carbon as an aspect of, let's say, the yield, the danger is that in the end of the day, we might go to practices that are actually antiquated and actually become more carbon intensive per yield. Technology plays a huge role in our business. In this new greenhouse, we've made many changes in order to grow a better product. For instance, we have upgraded light installation that can simulate a March day for sunlight, so our production can be up by 20%. We have special glass, that's a diffused glass, which basically takes the sunlight and scatters it around the greenhouse, giving you about 103% more light than clear glass. The other thing is that we have a heat storage tank so we run our boilers during the day and pump the CO2 into the greenhouse while putting the heat from the boiler into a storage tank. So all the CO2 that we produce is actually being used up by our plants and turned into oxygen. Rainwater doesn't include bicarbonates, it's pure water, so it's the best water we have. And we collect every drop of it that lands on this roof, and also we are collecting even the rainwater that falls outdoors onto the irrigation collection system. So we actually use very little groundwater anymore, almost completely self-sufficient with the water that falls from the sky. In a greenhouse, we're talking about you know pesticide management, we're talking about bugs, how do we do that? So we do that through the biologicals. That's a, that's a huge win over 35 years ago. All we did is spray. Today we introduce these biologicals and, and they're really good bugs that kill bad bugs. You know what I love about people that live here is they understand agriculture. They understand that milk just doesn't appear on the grocery store shelf by itself. It comes from cows. Agriculture is an important part of our world. No farmers, no food. And the same goes for the plant producers in the ornamental horticulture industry. And we live in a swirling vortex of busyness and plants make people feel better. And I'm proud to be a part of that.